And so it's 1.48 p.m. Another impromptu video. I don't know, I just sort of felt like, um, like, you know, like, I felt like saying something honest and truthful so I can be grounded in reality, so I can feel like I am grounded in reality, so because I'm tired of uh, sitting on the fence, I'm tired of uh, allowing my thoughts to <laughs> be pushed to and fro by the... <laughs> I'm just thinking about this... Uh, there was this quote in the in the Bible, uh, and I will come to that. Um, uh, C or oh, unstable. <laughs> uh, let me get, uh, let me find the thing for unstable. Oh, here he is. Uh, let's see. It's in, uh, it's in, uh, let's go to the, uh, the American version. All right, so this is in James, the book of James, chapter uh, one. Hmm. Okay, this is about uh, uh, doubt. <laughs> uh, okay, so verse 6 says, But when you ask, you must believe, like believe in God. Uh, when you ask God, God anyway, the, the thing is like, okay, let me start with chapter, uh, verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God, who gives generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you but when you ask you must believe and not doubt because the one who doubts is like a wave of the sea blown and tossed by the wind that person should not expect to receive anything from the lord such a person is double-minded and unstable in all they do <laughs> and i'm like hey, that's like me unstable so, so yes, yeah, so I was like, yeah, I don't want to be this sort of unstable, I don't want to be double-minded because it really uh, creates a lot of uh, confusion and, so what was I saying? I was saying I wanted to be honest and true. So. Why am I so preoccupied with this God question? Why am I... Why can't I just let it go? Why am I holding on to it like... Oh please, I gotta hold on to this. I can't let this go because if I let this go then I will fall into the... Abyss. And the abyss is unforgiving and... Uh, it's like there's no one there. If you fall into the abyss, the ab in the abyss there's it's just darkness. There's nothing there. There's no one there. Like you're all alone. It's like you know, life. This, this is what I wrote. Life is just a series of meaningless experiences from birth to death, and. Uh, Yeah, so, so, I, so I hold on to God, or the idea of God, uh, whatever, whoever God is, in order to hold on to God for dear life so I don't sink into the abyss, into the abyss, abyss of uh, nihilism, of uh, meaninglessness, 
offer. Yeah, all that stuff. And and I was thinking maybe that is the truth. But what's the point of holding on to something that you really don't believe in, or or or, or you? Or, what is the point of holding on to something, let's say God or the idea of God, over which you do not have like a lot of faith in? Like, what if you don't have a lot of? What if you're double-minded? What do you have doubts about God? And what? <laughs> So why why am I holding on to something that I really can't believe and the and the only reason I hold on to it or keep coming back to it is because I can't handle the the possible truth of the ab the ab the abyss because I can't hold on because I can't deal with the truth. So is that cowardice? Am I a coward because I can't deal with the meaninglessness of existence and how we are all ultimately alone and uh, you know we're going to end up in the void when we die or whatever happens it's like I don't think when you die it's really that much like you don't know what's gonna happen but but the living life with the uh, knowledge that you know, the knowledge of the death, uh, not the actual death itself, but the foreboding of death. Like, the death is always like a shadow, and you can't really escape it. It's always, like, following you. And so that's like a, you know, it's like a terror. Really. Just uh, knowing that death's around the corner or something, and you're just how do you live? How do I, I find it very really difficult. But then again, if I don't believe in God, if I if I if I if I don't believe, uh, then what's the point of holding on to it? If I don't believe, you know, it's like I'm just not going anywhere. You know, I'm just like stuck. It's like you're yeah, caught between a rock and a hard place. Is that expression? Is that the proper one anyway? You're damned if you do, but you're damned if <laughs> catch 22, I don't know. Um, so I'm like, I was, I was, I was just, I just had this thought like, well, oh, fuck it. I'll just deal with the truth and, you know, just deal with the truth. Like, like this a series of meaningless experiences from here until the end. Well, however that end is, or whatever it means, or what doesn't mean, um, maybe that is the truth, and, and, and I just have to deal with it instead of just running away from that truth into some some kind of a Fable, fiction, <laughs> or, or I don't know. I don't even know what I'm running to. I am running away from the the void, the meaning, meaninglessness. But I don't even know what I'm running to. I'm running away from something that seems very like yeah, that seems like kind of true. And then I'm, if I'm running away from it, where am I running to? It's like I'm just constantly running away, but I'm not really, no, I don't know where I'm running to. So what's the point of just running away? Like, that's what I'm doing, I'm running away, no! Don't catch me, you, you truth, you void, I, I don't want to be swallowed up. No, no. <sighs> Kind of harsh reality, but I guess there's uh, I guess uh, standing on the truth at least is it gives some kind of a peace, you know, like you, you, you have this peace, like okay, this is the truth, this is the the void, the void is the reality, it's like you know, 
I don't have to run away from this. Maybe I can just sort of accept it and live with it, deal with it. Acceptance of the void brings about a kind of peace. The peace that comes from not running away. Because <laughs> when you run away, you're like very anxious and hectic and you know, you're trying to escape from some kind of reality. Yeah. So I will title this video, Life is just, should I put the word just? Life is a series of meaningless experiences. So should I put life is just a series of meaningless experiences? When I say, when I say life is just, it's like I'm kind of disappointed. But how can I be disappointed with the truth? <laughs> should I expect it to be something else? Should I, should I expect life to be something more than what it is? Life is a series of meaningless experiences. If I say life is just a series of meaningless experiences, I'm sort of suggesting that hey, maybe there is another possibility. But what if there is no possibility? Then just then I must say life is a series of meaningless experiences. Right?